Hello, you gorgeous buggers. And welcome to the third and final part of this house. Wisteria House, the detailing episode. Insert a fanfare of some kind of description now. Lovely. <laughs> Don't know why I'm looking up there, but I am. <laughs> anyway, welcome, 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 my friends. God, I failed already. This is the lovely little family that I have made to move into this house. I absolutely adore them. They are so cute. We'll start off with the most gorgeous female. This is Miss Rosie McDonald. Like, I think she is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Rosie is a self-employed interior designer, but she is actually not working. She is a stay-at-home mum. And she just dabbles around in creative things and sells things on Etsy or whatever you would call it in The Sims. That's where I was going with her. She really wants to get back into her career again, but she's just been really, really enjoying bringing up this little dude. I mean, how bloody cute. He's called Ruben. Ruben is absolutely beautiful. And this is his beautiful dad as well. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, no words need to be said. No word. This is Mr. Ronnie. Ronnie Connors. Um, Rosie MacArthur, but what in my head, Rosie didn't have any family. Her parents are uh, both uh, sadly deceased, and she didn't have anybody to kind of carry on her family name. So, what Ronnie said was, Give Reuben your surname so you can still extend your family tree and whatnot. And I thought that for that little bit of storyline there, that was a good move from this part. <laughs> That was, that was really failed at what I just said then. And so was that. But we're going to carry on. I am not editing anything out. This is me. But I thought that would be really cool. Um, coincidentally, didn't need them to all be named by the zip for starting with the same letter R. But it kind of happened accidentally. And it's here to stay now. And this is Graham Davenport. Graham Davenport is going to be the guy who lives down in the basement flat below here. So what I will do is they're all living together. But I will stop uh them i will stop graham from be being able to access the house and vice versa for the family down into this one so it kind of keeps the two households separate um i tended to do that a lot uh, in gameplay i tend to do that a lot and i thought today the best thing to do is to start on the detailing which is what this episode is but i really want to now now i've got the sims made i want to bring their personalities into the house themselves i have made a start on little Ruben's room by bringing in some more black elements. He is like his dad. He always wears black. Loves it, loves it. But his mum, being who she is, she loves a pop of colour here and there. Um, she didn't want the house to kind of have too much black in it. So there are a few accents here and there, but not a lot. Not a lot. Especially now in the bedroom. This is probably Ronnie's idea of hell. But I mean, it is Ronnie, isn't it? I'm going to forget all the names. Yeah, Ronnie. Um... But I thought that would be the best way to do it today. We'll start getting in a few elements, especially through hobbies and stuff. Obviously, Ronnie's going to need somewhere to paint and things. Not sure where I'm going to be able to do that just yet, but I can squeeze it in somewhere. I mean, we could have even made this his kind of art room, but eh, it doesn't matter so much. It does not matter so much. And yeah, and obviously we'll be fully furnishing Graham's flat down here. I think what we'll do is do that now. So Graham is a bit of a loner sim. Um, he is a bit of a geek. He is a programmer, so he works from home. Um, so I thought this place would be perfect for a bachelor pad where people don't come and visit because Graham is antisocial as fuck. And that is where we're going with that, darlings. Off we bloody go. So I'm probably going to make this look like this was just straight out of Ikea. So everything <laughs> will probably look like it's from ikea we'll go along with that like these sofas i might even get the bigger ikea looking sofa i always call it the ikea sofa i know it's not but it just reminds me of one so that is where we are gonna go with it where are you are you that cheap bloody hell no it's not i, I need this one but in the bigger version have i got move objects on i have cool um like i wanted a big free piece where are you you're probably all screaming at me who's there it's there aiden Guys, thank you so much for all of the comments on my last video. I'm so sorry if I never get around to replying to every one of you. But if I leave a heart on your comment, I have read it and I have appreciated it. Um, I, it's just really time consuming for me to be able to go back and try and answer every comment. But I will try my best. 
So we'll leave it as that. Yeah, guys, I didn't come into Let's Build in to think, oh, um, I wonder if this does better than my speed builds because that's just not me. I just get content out there and see what happens. But uh, this is kind of taken over <laughs> the main kind of video on my channel and I'm kind of here for it. I really, really am. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much for all the support and the kind words. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, so do we... I can't see him as a white sofa guy. I would see him more as a black sofa guy. Now, he doesn't need to have kind of sort of entertaining space because, bitch, he does not entertain. Where the hell is that? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get it down to base game because I cannot deal with it. I'm sure there was a three-seater one. There is, isn't it? Am I going crazy? Was there only a two-seater? No, it's there. <laughs> I found it. I found it. Everything is okay. So, uh, yeah, I would see him as more of a charcoal. Now, where do I want the orientation? I probably want the kitchen to go around here. That does mean that the counters will cut the windows. Mmm, do I want that? Because I can't bear that. No, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to stick the sofa here. Like here, maybe. So it's still got that kind of orientation okay there. And what I'll probably do here, actually, now it's in... Let's put a cheeky half wall. Just a cheeky one. Just there. And that kind of cuts that spa op space off. Yeah, that's fine. We'll put the brick on them. Like so and like so. Now down here, I'm not going to like completely clutter the place. I want it to make it look like a little bit messy. Now he's not messy or lazy. He's just, he's a glutton if I remember rightly. So he just all just take out all the time. Doesn't really look after himself too much. Um... I thought that would be the best way to go. Now, but being a geek and a nerd, he's going to love his tech. So I definitely want this place to have a lot of technology, my darlings. I think that would probably be a cool way to go. Now, TV stand wise, I don't want, I can't get it up on the wall. So it needs to be on a TV stand. I'm, as I said, I think Ikea is the way to go, sweets. And a white one is fine. So we're not going to be concentrating too hard on color matching and stuff in this particular one because I mainly want to make it look like it just got hastily bought in a quick rush when he was when he learned that he was allowed to rent this little apartment out for which he spends 95% of his time masturbating into the sheets and causing a ruckus <laughs> Graham you dirty bitch <laughs> yeah we'll go with that We'll go with that. That's a great storyline. I'll make sure to write that in his bio. <laughs> uh, awful. Right, anyway. Ikea blinds. Lovely. Let's keep the people out. Keep the people out. <laughs> big old TV down here. Um, Would have preferred to have this big boy, but we can't have that. So, mm, do I want to size that down? Probably, yes. Uh, he'd go for a grey. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So many people were like shitting themselves that I offset the table of the TV upstairs away so it wasn't central. <laughs> Some people out there are just like, can you please fix that? I can't deal with it. I go to bed sleeping. I go to bed and sleep and think about it at night. <laughs> and I'm just like, please, can... Isn't there bigger problems out there, darling? Bigger problems? I think it might be. <laughs> I think there might be. Yeah, we'll put you down there. Nice big sound system as well. Loves a bit of music. Oh, what, what if we get like a jukebox in here? I mean, that is massive, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I know. That was a good idea in my head then, but coming to think of it, just no. Just no, I think. Um, Stereo. Maybe not you. Maybe you'd go for a... Oh, maybe you, actually. Yeah, we'll put you in because you're small and you're to the point and I enjoy it. Yeah, a bit like that. So we are spending everybody's money. I am going to do a little cheat and set them to... So he's an art critic. So I'd probably say he's got about over 100,000 simoleons. So maybe like 120,765. There we go. There we go. A little cheat there. Um, Obviously, this doesn't belong to Graham. But we cannot separate money and funding in the house. It just doesn't work that way. Um, a little side table here. And what I'm going to put on top of this side table is probably like a uh, Amazon Alexa. Oh, sorry. They're not called that, are they? 
<laughs> uh, when have I ever called it an Amazon Alexa? Right, we must make sure we've got an Amazon Alexa. <laughs> I sound like a nan. <laughs> I got one of those Amazon Alexas. They're bloody good. <laughs> yeah, we know nan. We know. We know, darling. Um, okay, let's carry on with what we were doing. <laughs> let's carry on with what we were doing. I'm so glad you guys just stick around for me because... Right, let's have some storage space in here. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, because I feel like I I make a fool of myself every episode. Especially when going through to edit it. But you guys seem to enjoy it. And I'm just being me. Just being me, babe. That's all it comes down to. All it comes down to. Now, I I will... I was going to not do... I was going to just do this and not tell anybody about it. But I will be going through and deleting a few... Not deleting, but privatizing a few of my older videos... Um, main reasons being, I want this kind of let's build thing to be uh, a bit more of a fresh start on my channel. So I kind of want to sort of privatize a few of my older videos, the more embarrassing ones. Mainly not because I'm embarrassed, because I don't give a shit. You can go and listen to them if you like. But I want to be able to one day go back and um, get embarrassed by reacting to them. And I've never done that kind of thing. So I'm kind of here for it. Yeah, that's cute. It's a cute little area. It's got enough kind of like tech there. Here, I probably do the kitchen there. Little dining room table. Um, I do want a computer. Obviously, he's going to need a computer to work. But I'm wondering if I should put the computer in the... Or I could put the computer desk there and do the... And do like a bar here. I don't know. We're going to we're gonna work this out together. Right, okay. Blue, are you sniffing around? Sorry, I can just hear Blue truffling away. Truffling away, I tell you. Um, desk wise, doesn't really need to be. Oh, it kind of does need to be a bit bigger. But maybe if I, you know, he wouldn't have a fan, he wouldn't have a glass one. He would have more of a like this, like this. But again, it needs to look like it's from IKEA. So maybe I'll just get this one. That's massive. Or oh, should I just do a singular one where he could work from? Hmm. No, because he's that into his PCs, I would imagine him wanting a bit more of a bigger desk. Don't you, my sweethearts? Yeah, I think we'll... Oh, oh, that one. That one looks very Ikea as well. Has it always got that horrible top? No, it hasn't. Oh, there we go, look. Do you come in a black and white? That would be fab if you did, darling. Do you? Oh, it comes in a, a black and, like, creamy colour. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Again, I don't, I'm not trying to match everything in perfectly because I could put the fridge here. In fact, let's do that now while we're here. Uh, fridge. Um, just a normal plain fridge. It doesn't need to be too fancy. There we go. And that's a good little area for him to just flop on over to get whatever he wants out of the fridge and live his best life. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, PC wise, it will be a bit of a bougie PC. He would go for a bit of a meaty number. Shall I get this one the same one as upstairs? I mean, it doesn't look like you could do a lot with it. Oh, for God's sake. I'm just going to put this cheat in one second. Okay. Cheat is in. So I'm allowed to use these ones here now. Now, this one here just reminds me, like, it looks like a gaming PC to me. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and use that one. But maybe in, like, a green. I can imagine him having a nice green one there. Yeah. Um, and a big old ass gaming chair. So, something that, along these lines. Will, I, will they be able to get through there? Yeah, they will. That's fine, but not in red. Let's see if you come in a green as well. Oh, you do. Fantastic. Yes. Um, Likewise, little spotlight lamp. Nothing too major. Um, Maybe even... No, let's try this one here. No, it would be a bit more kind of in my head. Like this but without looking like it just got pulled out from a skip <laughs> this one <laughs> in a white perfect there we go there we go now there's maybe some posters up here of his favorite kind of games and whatnot i know they've got a few game posters or not many but like these kind of ones maybe he loves a bit of the sims or oh, he's all into that loves a bit of whatever that is he's into that as well Absolutely into it. Cannot get enough. Yeah, I like that. It needs a rug here, doesn't it? I'm just looking at this thinking, you need a rug. So, Ikea rugs. <laughs> Why is everything Ikea now? It's just, 
everything that's like here. Um, hmm. It needs to be like a geometric -y one, really. Really, sweetie. Not with flowers, though. Not with flowers. No, not that one. <sighs> the rugs are so hard to find now. I've... Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. He wouldn't have much kind of taste in my eyes anyway. So he would just think, yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> there we go. It's lovely. That was not me farting, by the way, if you heard that. It was literally my legs r running along the rubber of my computer chair. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> um, White fridge. And then maybe just cut. Oh, it's going to be hard to get a space in here for so somewhere to eat. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's try. We're going to try anyway. Uh, kitchen wise, very simple kitchen, I would say. Why am I going on to bathrooms? So maybe sticking with the base game ones, but maybe using these actually. I mean, they. Oh, that doesn't look too bad in here, does it? I mean, it doesn't match perfectly, but. I would have liked to have used. Yeah, we'll use these because that kind of melt, like, blends in with the. Um desk the desk area yeah i think we'll do that right so one there i'm gonna put the bin down the side there um a little corner moment please if you will not in that color stop being so daft oven there oh, shite shiza oh maybe it does need to be oh, i want him to have a bigger couch is that so hard oh See, this is a tight squeeze. Right, let me just let me just map this out. Because it is he's gonna need another counter space because I want to get the sink on that side. So with this area, this needs to change the layout. I mean, I could pull this back actually. I'm going to do that instead. <laughs> kind of makes sense then as well. Kitchen swinging around the corner. So I could now put the oven there, the sink there. And then this could be the work top counter space. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Um, oven wise, again, nothing too fancy schmancy. Maybe a bit of an older oven. No. Because if they had spent that much money upstairs on that house, they would definitely litter this place. And not the top line appliances, but appliances that look like they won't die after, you know, just cooking a normal meal. Um, little sink moment there. Workspace. Bin down there. So we'll do a little... A little one of these. Like to there, sweetie. Um, stunning. And I'm going to do some cupboards. Some cupboards up here as well, sweetie. So you... Um, you're very... Oh, there we go. That is the right one, isn't it? Yes. Right, you. Corner one. Not in that colour. I really hate when they do that. I don't know why that happens. It makes me cry. Right, you there. And then another little... Yeah, we'll just do a full-size one there. And then in here, we'll go to this size. Stunning. And a little extractor of some descript. Nothing too... Again, nothing too fancy. Yeah, that would do. That looks lovely. Stunning. Needs more lighting over there. So what I'm going to do is pull this light and just put it. Are you going to be annoying? Yeah. Yeah, cool. I get See, not bougie, not bougie, not massive. Now he's probably a big coffee drinker. So I will slip a little coffee machine in there. Bit more of a top of the line one, but not the top of the line. We'll slip that on the corner there. Wish this could go in further when it goes on the corner and not dangling over the edge. But we are going to surpass and look past that. Surpass and look past? Yes. <laughs> no plants in here either. He would kill them. Um, probably just from his body odour and breath. So we won't subject the plants to that kind of horrific abuse. Not on my watch, Penelope. Not on my watch. <laughs> Um, some movie posters would probably be a good thing to put in here. A couple of horrors. Loves a horror, this one. Absolutely is all about a horror film. What's that? That is not the one. He wouldn't enjoy that. He would love that. That would be his. Um, we'll put a little clock up here. I think that would be the best way to go for it. 
a little wall clock per se. Um, we'll use this one. Maybe bring that green in. <laughs> That's really brought it in. Looks stunning. Uh, shall I pull you down? No, we'll put you to like there. Yeah. Okay. Right, he's got things and stuff. I'm going to clutter this with maybe some... Uh, oh, blue. That was a loud snort. With maybe some like... Could have had a snack, stack of CDs. Or something. Ooh. Mm, yeah, we'll put this in anyway. You never know when that could come in handy. And then I'll just put some CDs stack. It's not going to... Are you serious? Oh, no, it's there. Yeah, we'll do that. Little stack of CDs there. Still dark over in that corner, but it kind of adds to the basement feel of the apartment, which I enjoy. Ah, Yeah, I think that would keep him happy. He'd be happy in there. Yeah, he'd love that. Right, bedroom-wise, what I'm going to do as well, actually, is maybe just make this a little bit messier. So I might add in, like, the piles of clothes. Oh, Oh, I know this is kid stuff, but that could really work. That could really work. I might just put that. Will he be able to sit down there, though? I hate the fact with these things is that they can't sit down properly. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, So he's not dirty. He's just messy. That's the role play we're going for today, my friends. Right, bath bedroom-wise. Um, doesn't need a fancy schmancy bed either. So maybe just the base game one. Maybe just the base game. Oh, this one. I mean, that is quite fancy. That is a fancy bed. I think we'll go for this one. And in that colour as well, because it kind of ties in with the rest of the apartment. <laughs> uh, oh, damn. Didn't realise how weirdly... Are they going to be able to get in that door? No, I don't think they are. Uh, maybe I could push his bed right up to the corner, actually, because he's not going to be... Well, you never know. You might find love. Oh, I'd love Graham to find love. Graham, I'd love you to get loved. <sighs> oh, my God. <sighs> uh, I get, Again, I get furniture. I'm just skipping over what I just said. I might even edit that out. Probably not. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll go for white. Again, Ikea. All the, all the way, Ikea. And also a wardrobe from Ikea. Stunning. I'm there for it. Lovely. Lovely. Is it, why does the lighting make this look shit? I really wish the lighting would sort itself out in Sims 4. Because it's awful. It used to be so good. I don't know what's happened to it. The lighting's off, I tell you. Right. No plants. You'd kill them. We can't do that. Um, but what I might... What can I put up there? Maybe like a really geeky light. Haven't they got that like robot light? We could put that in. That's quite cute. That is quite cute. I would imagine have him having lots of like figurines and stuff as well. Um, I'm just literally spilling off most of my friends um, personality traits because I am friends of a lot of geeks because I am also one myself. Does that look awful in here? It absolutely does. But does Graham love it? You bet your bottom dollar. Um, now that that's there, does this need to be here? Eh. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, mess down here and maybe, and a chair in the corner. I think that would be the way to go for this room. Again, not much detail going on in here, my sweets. Not much at all, but let's grab an armchair anyway. Armchair wise, probably like a really old, yeah, like this. Like a really old, sort of musty looking one that looks like it has got 10 tons of farts still trapped in the fibers and slight whiff of dead things. <laughs> We're going to go with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we'll go with that. So yeah, every time you sit on that, it's just literally like five people farted in the room. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine it smelled very nice down here. Um, but again, he's not dirty. It's just messy. Just keep things a little bit more messier. But I would still imagine it smelling like farts. Farts. Farts and regrets. <laughs> uh, God, why am I like this? Um, where are you? Oh, didn't even realize. Is that what? Flourish Dream Starter Kit? I've never seen that in my life. And it's not CC. 
Never seen that before. Right, there we go. A pile of laundry. We'll pop it down at the bottom of the bed here. Weird because the bed is cutting into it, so I'll put it just under. Yeah, bit of a pile of laundry there. Sorry, I just had to move Blue from the position he was in because he was on his back. And he was like, just, just snoring at me. <laughs> so I had to like meander him into a more comfortable position. Um, Let's get some more film posters. He's kind of giving me a look now. I just had to look at him and see what he was doing. It's like, I was comfy. How do you? How do you move me? Right, more. Yeah, one of these. Loves a bit of Bob Pancakes. Are they too big? If I do two of them, I'd be... At, if I size it down, I'd be able to do two of them side by side. Maybe like a James Bondish one as well. Um, Yes, there we go. Yes. Yeah. Again, not much detail in this room. Not at all. Maybe a little pile of books here, actually. Uh, we need to get a bookcase in two. Um, yeah, just the, the base game pile of books would be lovely. Will I find them? No. Oh, all this. Yeah, a little bit of this. Loves a bit of writing. Loves a little bit of writing in bed. Absolutely. It, it's just all for it. <laughs> he, is, he is all for it. 100% into writing in bed. I think I need to shut up now. <laughs> um, Where is that one? There we go. This one here. Will you come in just a plain white? You do. Stunning. Yeah, that's cute. And then what I could do down here is just put like a little shoe rack. I think that would be the best way to do. The best way to do it. Um... Where are you? Is this, this is, is this the one? Yep, that will do. We'll plonk you in under there. Oh, that fits in really well. And a little, a little rug at the, the entrance. And we'll just use the generic rug that I use for every entrance of every house that has ever existed. Right there, darlings. Right there. Yeah, cool. Okay, bathroom. We'll do that in a minute. Very bricky in there. Um, I might even change this up for a bit of tiles. Because in my head, this was going to be more industrial. Like an industrial basement flat. But when I made the character, I was like, yeah, you're not going to suit that. You're not going to suit it, darlings. Mm. So maybe just like a normal generic. It doesn't have to be pretty. So maybe like a... That's very... Ew. I'm not a fan of these tiles. Yeah, in a bit more of a brown. Maybe we'll keep the brick as is. In fact, what I'm going to do is just do what I did out there and just do a few walls, and but leave the the kind of that wall there. Plain, plain brick. Um, Bath-wise, I'm not really seeing a brand new suite in here per se. Maybe they uh, still need to get it kind of semi-updated. So we'll do a shower all-in-one bath thing. In that colour? Yeah. That's fine. And then maybe like a toilet and a sink on this side. Can they still get in that when there's a sink here? We're going to try. We're going to try. We'll bring Graham down to his humble abode and we'll give it a go. Um, Generic. There we go. And again with the toilet as well. Not the best toilet. But Graham is absolutely not asked. My friends. Um, And just in a plain. There we go. White. Stunning. Stunning. Toilet roll, obviously, and a little towel thing. And then we'll be good to go. We'll be good to go. And then what I'll do is get Graham down here and just give it a little player test. See if it works. Um, And we'll go from there. Oh, yep, yeah, that one to do as well. I was just about to have a look through the swatches, but that will do. Yes. Uh, right, let's get Graham down here. So, yeah, the shower does work. I am outside because I forgot. I've still got the Wicked Whims installed. So, there is a full face of peen that you nearly got treated to. But I'm being a family channel. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, uh, I decided not to. I decided not to show you a peen. But here comes Graham. Can still, yeah, oh, you can walk over that. I always thought that that stopped them from walking through places, but obviously not. Okay, so he's loving his gaming. I will level him up. Him, 
Graham up as well with his skills and stuff to make him a better programmer and things. When this lot is available for um, save file, uh, same with the family and stuff as well, which they have now, now all dissipated into the house. Where are they? Oh, they're all up in the, the spare bedroom for some reason. Uh, that's strange. Okay, you carry on. Um, I think we'll make a start on the detailing now. I think we'll make a start on the detailing, my friends, and get this looking glorious. First things first, I'm thinking maybe some more plants out here. Uh, maybe? Do they need more plants out here? I kind of feel all right with how this looked. Hmm, maybe not. No, I think we'll keep that as is. I think we'll keep that as it is, the garden. It kind of speaks for itself, really. We'll start on the kitchen because there was a lot of cluttering that needed to be entered into the kitchen. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's get some of these clutter objects up on here. We'll do some plates up on these shelves. I think, I think they look like the perfect area for some plates. So we'll get a few of these out. Oh, will you just not? Oh, the snaps are a bit weird. Yeah, they're a bit weird. And um, they're floating. It's because I've sized the plates. Shit. I've just realised. Eh, look how chunky. Look how chunky. Oh, no. I didn't want the shelves to be like this. Maybe I can do three. That will make me feel a bit better. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Then maybe these will move a lot better then. We'll do plates at the bottom. Eh, eh, really? Come on, that snap point's crap. We're for this object anyway. Damn you to hell! Okay, okay, whatever. Um, anyway, let's get a few, let's get a fruit bowl out actually. I hate the size of this fruit bowl, so I will size it down. Shall I put, no, we'll put the fruit bowl in. That would probably look cool up here actually. Let's size you down though, because you're massive. In that colour as well? Maybe? Or should we go for a bit more of a... That tone. Yeah. Like that. Right there. Um, onto this side. So this is where they would eat their breakfast and whatnot. I could put like a small TV there. That would look quite cool. Where they could watch a little bit of TV while they were noshing down their breakfast, maybe. Yeah, maybe like to like there. Is that sticking out really far? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think that would do. Um... And clutter-wise, maybe just like a couple of mugs that look like they've been... Or maybe just the one. Just the one mug there. Just for a bit of storyline, you know. Got up, had a coffee in the morning and just left their mug there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really hate myself sometimes. <laughs> um, bread bin. Oh, oh, that matches in all right. Yeah, nice little bread bin. Maybe I could turn it that way. Yeah, bread bin there. And um, the sink is on this side, right next to the oven as well. I know someone said, that looks stupid, having your oven right next to your sink. Um, probably does, but don't care. Don't care. And limited in space in the UK, I have seen a lot of ovens next to a sink too. So I'm just speaking from experience. Um, I probably want the, the dish thing here. I know that Peacemaker's got a dish. There we are, look. Oh, and that's a good, yes little cheeky dish thing there um some more little like jars of things maybe a few jars of things i know that we've got some cc let's let's uh let's filter it to some cc i know we've got jars maybe i could put the glasses up here oh it does look lovely yeah we'll put a few beakers up here um one there one there um can we there we go another one and another one and then up here maybe like those little like pot that i've got because these are really cute but maybe i'll stick to that height and just change the colors up on them to variations of blue it's a very blue household i hate that it doesn't have a snap point in the middle there it's frustrating but i'll just turn it that way yes that looks lovely. I'm happy with that. Um, and then maybe on the top level, we could plonk in some... 
Maybe I will get out of this category and just go into the actual clutter objects itself. Because I could like just put... Hmm. Oh, we'll pop you out. A little mortal and pestle. Mortar and pestle or whatever they're called. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh, that looks cute. Yeah, we'll pop you there. Along with something that would um have kind of the utensils in. What's this? Oh, that's the books that I've downloaded. I, I did download one piece of CC off of camera. Then remembered, oh shit, I'm supposed to be doing this on camera. But I knew that I wanted to get the books in the bookshelf today. So I did download some. Um, But thank you as well for all of your... Uh, help on finding some new CC for this. I really, really enjoyed looking at your guys's, um, oh, there we go. There it is. Your guys, uh, recommendations, shall we say. Can I put you there? And you, I don't know if I like them two together. Oh, no, they're fine, actually. They kind of fit the purpose. And here, maybe some herbs. I know we've got like a little wall item that I just use in every single thing ever. But I do enjoy it. Um, where are you? Laundry day. There we are. Look. Even though they are massive. So I do tend to size them down a couple. And maybe just change that wood tone up. No, it's fine. It's fine. And then what we can do as well is put in some of the... I know there's some like... Uh, sort of like herb looking plants that we can put here. Oh, for God's sake. I'm going into the wrong thing. Custom content. They are quite cute. Where are they? There. These little things here. They look really cute. So we're going to put a few of these around. In different herbs. There's a bit of sage there. Stunning. And whatever this is. But not in red, please. Oh, there we go. Or that one. Bit of wheatgrass. Bit of wheatgrass. I don't want any appliances in here. I'm kind of happy with their, free, with their cooker and that's it. Um. So we'll, we'll leave that as it is. Um, and maybe just put loads of caps up here. Loads of caps. So it'd be a bit annoying getting up to the shelf. But I think everyone can relate to that. I've, I've, I know I've got an annoying shelf in my house where I can't reach. And I'm like, Tom, help me. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> um, and up here, maybe do the wheatgrass at the window as well. So they could pick their own wheatgrass. Um, not enjoying the lighting, the way that that's working on this for some reason. Ugh, again, things not being lit well in The Sims 4. Should I get three of these lights in here? Not that that's going to make any difference to that over there at all. But I think it might look quite cute. Let's have a look. Is that too much? No, it's fine. Yeah, so it's starting to get a bit more personality into this room now. I just love that singular cup. Maybe we'll put a plant up here as well. Oh, that's pretty cute. I have used that on the table in there, though. Damn. I always forget about that. It's so cute. Um, Maybe I could just plonk in a small little... Just a small number. Anybody want to come? Um, No, that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit with the aesthetics. Um... Yeah, like that. I mean, that's a very similar plant anyway. So I could have just used that, but we're going to go with that. That looks stunning. Stunning! And lovely. Okay, I'm kind of happy with how it is. It's telling the story. Um, Yeah, cute. Okay, on to the di um, living room. Now, I don't want too much. And I never got rid of that column. Well, we should now. There we are. Um... I don't want, again, don't want too much going on in here, but we are going to get a few little pieces to kind of fit in well with the aesthetics of this room. Now, I'm going to put some uh, cushions on. I did put some cushions on. Oh, it was these as well. So I'm going to use these. I did put these cushions for my thumbnail. People were confused about the thumbnail. I just dressed the room with the aesthetics that I was doing. So it wasn't exactly how it's laid out and stuff in here uh, or in the build itself. So... There you go, my friends. You no longer need to be confused. You're welcome. Um, and cushion-wise over here, maybe the same one? Yeah, it's fine. We'll get the same one over there as well. And I know people were confused as well. I'm going to go over this. I should have done this at the beginning on how I did the stairs. But 
with some of the stairs. Some of them come with... I need to take a wall down to be able to show you. Some of them come without an underneath. So what you can see what I've done here, the footprints of these stairs, they match in or frame with the ones from the bottom itself. So you can overlay stairs on top of each other. You just need to make sure that you haven't got the stairs with the wall going on. And there are a few sets that do do that. And then you can put the stairs on top of each other then. But I do think that you do need the move objects on cheat. I'm not too sure. But obviously the Sims can use it because you have seen them use it. <laughs> to put it bluntly, use it. But yeah. So I hope that helps some of you guys that were confused about how the stairs worked. Um, You're welcome. Oh yeah, but these little cute books, I really liked these. They come in like a few different colours. I think there's only like three swatches to them. But I just really liked the feel of these. I might mix them up actually with the existing ones of what we got already. And maybe that would make it look a little bit more au naturel. Yeah, a few little bits of that. A nice plant up here as well. Maybe some storage boxes. I would imagine having a kid, they would want... Uh, that's ugly. Um, some storage boxes. I know that we have got a few for in CC. So maybe I'll custom... Maybe I'll filter them out. Um, will you fit under there? Oh, you will. Now, I probably won't put anything in the storage boxes, but there are storage boxes down there. So that if they may, if they may wish to use them. <laughs> I can't speak today. Guys, it's late. Okay, it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm recording this. I've had a hectic day in work. <laughs> and I'm feeling a bit, a bit crazy. Um, do you still keep the lavender in there? I suppose that purple kind of pops well with the blue behind it. Um, but I think we'll go with black. That looks cute, actually. Yes. Yes, I'm feeling that. Feeling it, doing it, owning it, loving it, as far as I'm concerned. Um, that there. Um, and maybe up to the top, I'll just do the uh, sort of base game books all the way along the top then. The only problem is they can't really read anything because I don't think that when you put books down, they can read them. Or like clutter books, which they maybe should change that up a bit. I would like to, them to be able to use some books from just like objects being cluttered. Oh, I don't like the way they look. Maybe I'll leave that blank up there then actually. Um, maybe just something else. Something else to just slot in there that is just a bit different to the rest of the things. See, this is where the CC shopping would have been good. Maybe you. Oh God, you're massive, aren't you? But yeah, maybe I'll put these up here actually. They are quite big. Or it was quite chunky, but that kind of fits in with the aesthetics. The aesthetics and such. Yeah. Kind of feeling that. But again, as I said, I don't want too much stuff down here. I really, really don't. Uh, Clutter-wise. Ooh. Ooh, I mean, these could have looked great in here. I wonder if I could size it down and slide it. Like, if I can move this along... Ah, oh, you bastard. That looks so cool with that wall as well. Um, oh, damn you to hell. It doesn't make sense now. Oh, we'll just move it back. And I'm going to put this somewhere that I want it in here now. Yeah, that kind of looks good there. Yeah, let's um, just to piss more people off. Let's offset that even more. Just so we can slide this in. And to those guys that are pissed off. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah, happy with that. Um, What could we put in here? Maybe a few of these. Is that bit big? Oh, no, it's not actually. Oh, we could just pretend this house is like, I don't know, DVDs or something. Not that many people have DVDs anymore, but we'll go with it anyway. And then a nice plant up on the side here. Just maybe like a normal. Um, Not that blue. Not that terracotta either. Maybe we'll keep it in green. Yes. That adds to it nicely. And a poof. I did want to get a poof hay in here. So we're going to get going to go ahead and put a poof hay in. Have I got any CC poof hays? Um, yeah, but they're round. Wasn't really feeling a round one, but 
Let's have a look. What colors have we got here? Ooh. I mean... Ooh, I like that one. That one's the winner so far. Let's have a little goosey look. This is from Peacemaker, this Pouffe. Um, I'm not going to go and kind of color match any kind of color in. I think I'm going to go for that one. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, the color does match really well with the walls, actually. So we'll pop that just down there. Just down there next to the fireplace. Do I want anything up on the fireplace? Maybe some candles. We'll put some candles around the fireplace. And then that will be its lot, my darlings. Um, mm, I kind of... Oh, they do fit up there. Okay. Kind of wanted them to be... Are these massive? Yeah, they won't even fit up on top there. Damn you! Bugger it. We'll just do two pillar white candles. Do you come in a fresher white than that? You do. There and there. Ah, oh, that looks pretty. Pretty, pretty. Um, not putting a rug in here, if you remember. I said that last time. And I would have loved a table here, but it will just stop that flow of being able to access the living room quite easily. Okay, so there's a bit more personality in here now. Um, yeah, there is. I think what I am going to do is change this cushion over to something else, though. Let's have a look. What have we got here? What's going to go well? What is going to go well? I think what I'm going to do is bring that in and do it this way. It's a lot easier. That kind of goes okay. Oh, that does too. Um, I'm just trying to... Not match it in with the wall, but just make the colour sit with it well. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I kind of feel this one. We'll do this one. Get rid of you and push you back in there. Just to add a bit more difference into the textures and patterns coming into this room. Yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Cool. Okay. Um, entrance hall wise, I didn't want too much in here. What I was probably going to do, I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I really wanted to get a little hall table in here, but I really don't think they're going to fit in at all because they are ginormous. I could size it down and then not put anything on top of it. Uh, what I'll do down there is just put a shoe rack instead. Then I'm going to put a cheeky shoe rack down here. Uh, Maybe a couple. In black, actually. So maybe I'll slot that into there. I know that is cutting into it, but... It will be fine. There we go. And this one too. Oh, that's cutting into the stairs, so I'm going to thicken these up. And just do that. Yeah, that's fine. And then and a mirror on this side. I, I said last time that I wanted a mirror here. I just think that would blend in quite well with the house. But we won't do the copper tone in here. We'll do the black. We'll bring the black in. Shall I sit that below the panel there? Or shall I just keep it just above it? Let's do it there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, rug wise, do I want a rug here? Kinda need one really. Um, and I think I'll do the like half cre the half moon shape. Uh, but just do it in a plain. Do it in a plain black. I can't see for the life of me. The colours underneath that green marker yeah yeah there we go cheeky little rug and then obviously the bathrooms i am going to i'll decorate this one down here i'll do this one here now and the rest of them i'm just going to do off of camera i just i'm just not a fan of making bathrooms i'm really not so guest bathroom i would probably just stick a bath no shower um and also a toilet obviously <laughs> Never go wrong with a toilet in a toilet, Aiden. Um, just a classic bath. Yeah. I mean, it's massive, but... Oh, that's not going to work. I, could, I need to put the toilet there, so the bath needs to go in that orientation. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll stick with that grey. We'll stick with a grey stone bath, and we'll do exactly the same with the toilets as well, so we'll take them all from Spa Day. Um, where's that grey one? Yep, there we go. Do I want to put the sink there or the bath there? I mean, the toilet. I mean, we'll put the toilet there. Yeah, that would probably work well. And then sink-wise, we'll use the one. Oh, we have. We've got this one. Yeah, that would be perfect. 
Do you come in a grey too? You do! Isn't that, isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Yay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Done. Um, and mirror wise, maybe I could put a kind of long mirror here. Nope, definitely cannot because the wall is not long enough. We'll stick with this one. Good old favorite. Um, maybe a little cheeky toilet roll holder there. And a, oh, what? We need a, we need a modern. We need a modern. That's not going to, oh, that does. Doesn't fit in well or perfectly with everything, but it will do. Um, and it needs a towel rack in here, but there isn't anywhere to really hang a towel from because of the. I oh, know. I suppose we could do that there. Do you come in an all white version? No, it doesn't. And that looks weird, but we're going to go with it anyway. Yeah, that's fine. And then. A bath rug. A bath rug? Is that right? That just sounded really weird in my head then. Do you ever say something and then you're like, is that right? <laughs> I do that a lot. Yeah, there we go. Simple, to the point, bathroom. We're not going to go too much into the bathroom sort of side of things. There needs to be something here. I'm just looking up. Every time I come here, it looks weird. There needs to be... <gasps> oh, no, it's there. Um, I need to put a little plant here. Just a cheeky... It was, yeah, like this. In white, actually, as well. That's absolutely fine. And I think it needs to be lit a bit better here. So maybe I could put you, like, there. And then you, like, in the actual... Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Okay, happy with that. Anyway, floor one is done. Now, on to the first floor. So we have got the spare bedroom to put just a little bit more detail in. And then we're going to cram Ruben's room with a few more pieces of his personality. I have made him creative as well because his parents are creative. So it kind of makes sense for him to sort of get some lashings of that creativity. Creativity? We'll go with that. Um, and put a bit more personality to his room. So we'll make a start on this guest bedroom. Um... Again, I do not want too much detail in here. Maybe, no. I was going to say maybe a mirror here, but they've got a mirror there. It doesn't really make sense. Being a guest bath, I would probably have some kind of sort of toiletry for them to use if they didn't bring their own and whatnot. That's just something I tend to do with my own guests. So I'm going to do that. Um, where are you? So yeah, this good old faithful like toiletry thing. I think that would look quite cute. Maybe do it in a blue and a yellow, actually. Kind of fits in well with the aesthetics of this room. And maybe a bit of artwork up here. Didn't get time to download any new um, pieces of art, which I will definitely do on the CC haul that is on the list. Um, so we shall find some new art pieces. I really want some nice uh, pieces of... Oh, that looks nice in here. Oh, it does. Would you look better over there? No, you wouldn't. You would look great up here. So yeah, I definitely need to find some more CC pieces of art. And I do like my art to kind of, the graphics kind of match. As with everything on my CC, I do like it to be more Max's match. I know people were recommended me, recommending stuff to me. And it was me being stupid and not saying that I do prefer Max's match CC. Or stuff that will still look great. Um with the graphics itself a lot of them were kind of alpha -y graphics and i just wasn't here for it but i still appreciate it so thank you friends i'm gonna pick that rug because it looks great in this room and we're gonna plonk it just there below the bed just slipping out from underneath there um and maybe just two plants matching plants side by side on either side of this would look cool um oh yeah like this like this, but we'll turn the orientation so it doesn't mirror the other one too much. Uh, to like there. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with this room. Again, as I said, I don't want too much detail in here. It is a guest bedroom after all. Maybe just a little plant up on this window side here as well. Um. Yeah, just like that. Lovely. Lovely. So that spare bedroom's done. Nothing too mental going on in here. 
with the hallway because it is so crammed in i don't really want to get anything here it would look good with a bit of art here actually not that they would have room to maybe view the art because <laughs> of how skinny these corridors are but um nah now we'll leave that we'll leave that it will be absolutely fine and we'll go on to little Ruben's room. So Ruben, he's um he's very creative. He's into maybe a bit of gaming. I could imagine him playing a little bit of game, like a little little cheeky bit of video gaming. So maybe he likes his um what are they called again? Those characters. Uh, I cannot remember, but the Pokemon version, the Pokemon version of. Or the Sims version of the Pokemons. Oh my god, I'm failing today. I'm failing. I'm sorry. Um, void critters. There, got it. <laughs> and I bet someone still typed that in the comments. They can't void critters. <laughs> uh, where are you? Oh, there it is. Like like this. Oh, it's massive. Damn. I could put you on this side instead then. So maybe having this, he would probably have that electronic thing as well, where he could swap the void critters and whatnot. That's up very high. Let's put you down there. Little night light as well to stop him from waking off his parents in the middle of the night. Um, where are you? I know that you're in the wall lights, maybe. Hmm. Is it this one that stops the monsters from coming out? Kids wall light. No, it's this one. It's the defender. Oh, and a little a little grey number as well. You're a bit big, so I'm gonna size you down. I'm gonna size you down. Yeah. Yeah. Um and with his room, maybe some shelving. I would probably put up some shelving. I know this room is going to be all clouds in, but when his personality came into it, it just didn't fit it, darlings. Didn't fit it. Didn't fit the aesthetics. Maybe we'll go for a black shelf. If it comes in a black shelf, it does. Yeah. We'll do one there. One there. And maybe one up there. And then we can put his figurines on it. Um... Decorations. I should go into kids, actually. Go into kids. Blue, you're very loud. I know my mic isn't picking it up, but it's distracting me. He's being fussy with things. Fussy dog. But he's beautiful, so he's allowed to be fussy. Oh, damn. They haven't got money. I know I can go into debug to find the figurines. like the. But I just don't want to. I just don't want to for this. I think we'll just stick with this. This will be fine. Do you come in a different... No. We'll do you in green. We'll do you in green. And maybe some superhero figures. Yep. Yeah, all about it. Bit of green there as well. Purple for the man. And then up here. See, there isn't much really, is there? A helicopter. A little cheeky helicopter. Uh, maybe that car, even though the graphics on these look absolutely terrible now. <laughs> they really do. Oh, you would look cute in here. You fit in with the aesthetics. What I'm going to do with you, though. Oh, no, because I like the interactions with these. So maybe I'll move him just next to his toy box there. Not cutting into the curtains as such. Going to remove these curtains and find some more fun ones for the for a child, though. So maybe we'll do that now. Um... <laughs> where are your where's the kitty ones it's these ones but i don't think they do oh they do oh i know it's got pink on it but it kind of matches in okay with the uh pillow i can't i'm kind of here for that right it's cutting into the bed weirdly so i am just going to shuffle the bed offset from that just to anger some a few people a few more people out there yeah i like that i'm here for it i'm gonna do it um and then on this side we'll do the same curtains but what i'll do is lift one side up there is that right it kind of not but i did want a straight one on the other side um like ah oh, that looks weird why are you like this why Maybe if I just do this. They're so much higher than the rest of them. Yeah. Oh, they're supposed the windows are, though. But I'm not here for that. We'll just go with what we had before. Um, Are you not fitting on these? It's not. Okay. That will do. That will do. Um, 
So he's got his computer around here. Maybe a few little like cheeky war stickers and stuff on this side that his mum let him got creative with, with his favourite um, void critters. Um, yep, you loves you. Whatever your name is, what are you? I was not saying what it is. <laughs> and maybe just you. Do you come in different? Oh no, they come in all different ones. <laughs> I love the way I'm only learning that now. Oh, you're cool. Yeah, maybe you'll overtake him as his favourite. In fact, we'll just we'll stick we'll stick with one. We'll stick with one there. Yeah, stunning. Stunning. So toys. He's got a little toy thing there. We need that. Um that void critter thing, but it's massive, isn't it? I completely forgot how big that is. Look, it takes up so much room. Hmm. Oh, I really want him to have this though. Maybe I'll stick this downstairs. I could put this downstairs somewhere. Like where he could play with it. And it would be in black. He would say, mum, I want the black one. Mother, I want the black one. Exactly like that. No, he wouldn't. He's not spoiled. That looks stupid as hell there. Why is that thing so massive? Ah, <sighs> Maybe I could put it out in the garden. Yeah, we'll put it out in the garden for him. That will be fine. Okay, so we're up to the master suite now. Um, I Just looking at this, I'm not really a fan of having that, that squished into the corner the more I look at it. I know someone said only use one dresser. I think you might have been right. So I still think I'll keep that there, though. Um, and maybe do like a small armchair in the corner over there. That could look pretty cute, actually. Now, bedroom-wise, I do want a little space for Ronnie to do his art. I think the bedroom would be the perfect place for it. I'm just wondering if I could... Oh, I could put this into the corner instead. Yeah, we'll do that rather than putting an armchair there. Because they've got enough seating there. It doesn't really make sense. We'll put that there and then we'll have this as his little dedicated painting area so we'll get his um easel out where are you again you're in the guitar section for some reason or musical selection i don't know section even i can't speak i'm never recording at this time at night ever again <laughs> because i have failed at it today um yeah well, he would have the biggest bougiest one of course now we need his little artist I forgot what they call it. Call it. I know it starts with artist, artist, supply tabaret. Well, there you are. There you have it. And it's in sculptures. Why? Why? Why are you in sculptures? Why are you closed? <laughs> Let us know why you're closed. <laughs> Does everybody remember that? I really hope that you do. I really do. <laughs> because that was probably the funniest thing I've seen on the internet in very many years. I'm just wondering if I could put this behind here, but like size it down. Maybe not, but we're going to give it a try. Oh, we could. Yeah, we'll just put it behind there. Maybe it's like pieces that he hasn't got round to hanging yet. Uh, doesn't need some lighting around here. So I'll bring these in. Do I want them up that high? That's eh, fine. It's fine. Yeah. So he's got his little area to kind of get creative now. I mean, it isn't dark. Do I want to lighten that up? I did want it to have kind of an impact. I suppose that looks better. I suppose that does look better. And what I'll do down here is put a, a rug. I know it's got that artist's rug. There we go. Maybe I could plop that in the corner. I mean, it doesn't go with a room at all, but Ronnie needs somewhere to work. He needs somewhere to work, and that's where we're going to go with it. Now, painting-wise, I think I'll use one of those big bougie ones from Peacemaker. Um, The ones that I haven't used as of yet. I love these. They are gorgeous. It's massive. So maybe I do need to size it down. And we could just pretend Ronnie painted this. I mean, it would have looked that's gorgeous in this room. I mean, it would have looked... Um, it would have looked nice if I could have got Ronnie to paint something and do it that way. But I just... I want to get this finished in an episode so it just wouldn't make any proper sense to do that. 
so I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nice. That flows well with the room, actually. Lovely. Obviously, it needs a light over there because it's very dark. Shall I get two of these in this room? I think we're going to do that. I'm going to get two of these lights in here. One there. And then we'll plop this one a bit further on in. Let me just see what that looks like. That doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. I would have preferred to have used a different one in the dressing room. But that is where we're going to go with it. And I don't know if I showed you last time. But I have changed the colours up there for white as well. It just stops the room from looking that massive impact of black coming in. It just looked a little bit weird. And I was not here for it. Do I want anything on top here? Candles. Just a few candles. Um, And unlit ones. Where are the unlit candles? Um, they do come in a white as well. We'll just put a few of them up there. It's absolutely fine. Did want a rug in this room. I know that I was definitely need um, wanting one. Um, again, I think in just a plain rug in this room. Like I use this to death. But I just think it would work well. With the aesthetics of this CC anyway. Um, will you hang out the room? No, you won't. Yeah. Yeah, that looks nice. A definite plant over in this corner. That is for sure. And a nice big bushy boy would look great. Maybe I could use a bit of CC bush. A CC bush. I'm unsure. But we will. Mm, I mean. I mean, that looks quite nice in here. Mainly because of the greens used on it. Yeah, I'm there for that. I'm there for that. We'll plonk you there. Yeah, that looks nice there. Really nice. Just keeping lighting there. Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of this now. I'm putting in a bookcase. I need something to be able to... Oh. I need something to be able to be usable up here rather than just like a trunk, you know? So maybe just a nice bookcase. So maybe I'll go for the old faithful. This one never lets me down. Yes. I think this will be fine in here. Ye old faithful bookcase. Yeah. It's not too bad. It's not great, but we're going to go with it. Um, on top of here, I think we'll do some clutter objects like um, the hairdryer, etc, etc. Mainly for Rosie to use when she gets up and woofs herself up in the morning. Let's have a little look. Yes, we'll size you down as always. And maybe just put a cheeky little flowers. A bit of flowers in here. And um, maybe bring in a bit of that green. Oh, bye. Maybe bring in, bring in the green in. Using that. Yeah, nice. Okay. Guys, I think this would be as cluttery as I would get with this particular lot. It's got a bit more personality now, which is exactly what I needed for it to fit The Sims in general. Obviously, I will be doing the bathrooms off of camera. Um, but I think we're I think we're there. I do think we're there with this house. So if you have downloaded all of the CC that I have used for this house, um, you I will put this up on the gallery. So you can just search it using, I'm going to have a hashtag for my new, uh, my new crest series and it will be bumpkin new crest. So if you want any of the houses that you uh, like from this series before the save file, then go ahead and search for bumpkin new crest on the gallery and you will be able to find them. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for all of the support, as I've said, for this series is absolutely crazy. I am really, really thankful. Um, next time, or next video coming this week, I will be releasing the first part of the next house of this series. But I also will be doing a CC shopping video too. I won't be getting a speed build out, build out this week. Speed, bu speed builds will still be coming to the channel, but they will come out sort of when I can fit them in between the let's builds and whatnot. And I might even try to get out two episodes of the let's build this week. Who knows? I will let you all know either on Twitter, um, which you can follow me down below if you so wish. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.